It was two years ago when I finally decided that it was time to climb Mont Blanc. I had completed a mountaineering course in Chamonix and was looking for the next adventure. So here I am, back in the birthplace of alpinism. The whole pandemic thing kind of got in the way, but now it's finally happening. And this is my friend Peter, who'll be joining me. We both have a love for the outdoors. It's always nice to have someone to share the experience with, and Peter's like a brother to me. I just wanted to share this experience with you guys, so let's get started. We met up with our guide Pete Mason and drove to the Aosta Valley to start the first leg of our adventure. First day of six and uh, today we're climbing up to the hut on Gran Paradiso and tomorrow we'll make it for the summit just to acclimatize so we can reach the summit of Mont Blanc later in the week. I'm super excited so let's see what happens. What do you think so far, Peter? <laughs> it's great. It's been nice being out again. I'm quite happy with that one though. Went through a lot, beating it up for some gear. <laughs> We're actually already at the hut. It was only an hour and 45 minutes, which I was told was a fast pace actually. So, yeah, it's good to be in the mountains again and uh, I'm feeling really happy, <laughs> so just enjoying it. So I just wanted to show you guys where we're sleeping tonight. These are the bunk beds and I'm sleeping down here with all the mess. And then this over here is the view of the mountains. Pretty awesome. After we got settled in the hut, I sat down with our guide Pete to ask him a question about our climb. Pete, can you tell me about like the challenges this week? Yeah, so the, our number one objective hazard is going to be rockfall in the Grand Couloir. As the season progresses throughout the summer, uh, rockfall seems to be getting worse and worse. And again, over the past five years, the evolution uh, has been towards more and more rockfall in the Grand Couloir. The season has been relatively good so far, so it's been a, a bit exceptional. It's also been quite cold. So it's good condition, uh, good condition on the trail? A, as far as I know, yeah, you know, it's not, it won't be snowy, but there's been less rockfall than maybe what we would come to expect in previous years over the last, you know, five to seven years. For me, this was good news, as I had worried so much about the rockfall. I just realized that we have Ibex over here. Morgan and Crocs here from the hut. I'm trying to see if I can get some good shots of the Ibex. We've just put on the crampons and uh, gotten down the glacier. Just a short, short walk to the summit up here. It's gonna be fun. How do you like it? <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Last two. Alright, let's do it, Pete. It feels oh, alright. Uh -huh. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, right, right. Ah, 
Mid to the top of Grand Paradiso. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Good job here. Yesterday we came back from the Grand Paradiso climb and it was everything I hoped for. It was so spectacular. There's just like one problem and that is that I've now got massive blisters on both my heels. Even putting on my um, boots and trying to walk in them was just like hurting really bad. So what I did instead was I just went to the Akiti Midi to acclimatize and rest my feet while Pete and Peter went and did the Kasmik. And uh, I just felt like missing out. Tomorrow is going to be an easy day when we walk to the Ted Roos hut. Um, and I can even wear my trail runners uh, for that section. So I really, really hope that it will be enough time to heal um, because I just want to. I just want to climb that mountain. I'm just gonna show you like how bad it is. Not like the wounds or anything, but like these are the bandages. Oh. Yeah, it's not too good. So we're climbing up this uh, arete here to the Tetrus hut. Really awesome hike. Not too bad. A little uh, exposed to some points, which triggered my uh, fear of heights, but I think it's okay. We got across the ice here, the glacier, and then we should be at the hut. Really heard too much rock fall, a couple times, a couple little things, but nothing on the on the roof. So it's nice, good conditions for walking, not too hot. That's ditch. The trail runners on the glacier here. Back in the boots. Feels all right. Let's see, this is the 
looking at, this is the Red de Boss, so we're down and over in here someplace. And this is where we're going to go, hopefully tomorrow. Mm. This is the very last bit. Mm. Mm. Zigzag up in here. Over here. Uh, and mm. this is the last bit. Okay. Today we hiked up to the Tet Rus hut. It was a really short hike. And, uh, yeah, I feel good. Uh, still have some problems with blisters and stuff, and, uh, I think it's it's getting better. We also have some bad weather moving in. As you can see, there's not much of a view here behind me, um, and it's supposed to get worse the next following days. So, yeah, hopefully uh, the conditions will be good enough for us to summit, but I'm not sure yet. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Early start tomorrow, and uh, looking forward to getting even higher on the mountain. But first, we had to wait in the hut. There isn't much to do besides drinking water and trying to get a signal on your phone. In the morning, we would have to cross the Grand Couloir and the potential rockfall, something I did not look forward to. We're on our way up. Yep. Early morning. And just like that, we passed the Grand Couloir. No rockfall and no problems. Just a beautiful morning in the mountains. All right. Happy? Yeah. Okay. We arrived at the Gute hut this morning and it was a super nice uh, scramble to get here up the Arete. When we checked the forecast we saw that some bad weather was uh, moving in. Maybe as you can see here it's it's snowing and there's quite a bit of a whiteout so we didn't want to go to the summit today. Now we're just like waiting in the hut and then we'll try the summit uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm feeling uh, pretty good. The blisters have healed quite nicely and are not hurting as much anymore. And with the bad weather, they're gonna get more time to heal, so that's perfect. I think we're just gonna go and skip ahead to uh, tomorrow morning. See you guys. 2.40 in the morning and uh, everybody's getting ready for the summit push. There's 80 of us today going to the summit or trying at least, so. It's gonna be a packed trail. Yeah, just getting uh, all the gear ready. Leaving stuff behind that we don't need. Gonna pick it up later. <laughs> Such a nice walk up. We've got stars above, yeah. got stars below. So, it should be hour, hour and a half to the top. So we're coming up to uh, one of the last parts here, and uh, it's like two, two 
few steep parts to go before the summit. I'm feeling it for sure. I will make it. Feeling it. Oh, let's do it. I get emotional in, in situations like this. <laughs> I'm fucking crying, like. So nice. How do you feel, man? I feel fucking great. <laughs> it's perfect, right? It's crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's so good. Can't exactly say that I enjoy the scrambling down, but I think we'll be down soon. I've been home for a few weeks now and I still feel so high from the whole experience. Climbing Mont Blanc was something that I wanted to do for many years and achieving that has been like the best feeling. It's very satisfying. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. If you have any questions about uh, climbing Mont Blanc, please leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, this is my new channel uh, and I would feel very honored if you would consider liking and subscribing. So thank you so much. That's it for me. Take care.